Let's go ahead and take a look at how you can estimate the limit of a function using a calculator. In this particular video, I'll be using a TI-89 graphing calculator. So I want to figure out what is the limit as x approaches negative 3 of the function x squared minus 9 all divided by x plus 3. So in order to estimate this limit, I'm going to be taking a look at values for x as they get closer and closer to negative 3, and then look at their corresponding y values to see if they get closer to any particular value. If they do, I'll go ahead and use that to uh, estimate my limit and see what I get. So let's go ahead and choose some values that are really close to negative 3. I'll choose some on, say, the left side, like negative 3.1, negative 3.01, and negative 3.001. So all of those are on the left side of negative 3, and they're getting closer to negative 3, uh, the, you know, the further I go out uh, on the zeros. If I choose things on the right side, I might start at 2.9, get closer at 2.99, then 2.999. And so you can see that those are on the right side, and they're definitely getting closer. I won't actually evaluate negative 3, but I'm going to put this in my table as an estimate as to where that limit is. So let's grab our calculator and see how we can estimate uh, our limit by basically plugging in these different values. So the first thing you want to do is actually get the function into your calculator. I'm going to go to my y equals by pressing the green button and then F1. And then I'll type in parentheses x squared minus 9 close parentheses all divided by parentheses x plus 3 close parentheses enter and I can see it displays the x squared minus 9 all divided by x plus 3. Then I can take a look at its graph by pressing my green button and then graph. As it draws it, it looks like it's drawing a fairly straight line. Now I can use the value function to basically test out all of these different values into the function. To find that, I will press my F5 for math and then the first option says value, so I'll press enter. I'll first give my function the value of negative 3.1. So negative 3.1 and press enter. Then I can read off the y value of the function. It looks like it's at a negative 6.1. Now I can repeat this process for the next value in my table. So math value, negative 3.01, enter, it looks like it's just a little bit closer, negative 6.01. Let's do this one more time for an even closer value. So at 5, value, negative 3.001, enter, negative 0.001. So as we're choosing things on the left side of negative 3, already we can see that our y values are getting close to a negative 6. Before we can really say that that lemon is negative 6, let's go ahead and check some things on the right side of negative 3 just to be sure. Because we have to make sure it's approaching on both sides. So at 5 value, I'll start with my negative 2.9. So this is at negative 5.9. F5 value, negative 2.99, negative 5.99, and one more value, negative 2.999, so negative 5.999. There we go. So by using the calculator and plugging in these different things, I can see that the y values of my function are definitely approaching negative 6 on both sides. So if I had to estimate the limit, it looks like my y values are approaching a negative 6. So I will put that as the limit of my function. For more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.